Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. What are you doing? Good evening, men. Say happy Friday. Happy Good Friday. I hope you had a good day. For those of you who celebrate this day, and even for those who don't celebrate this day, I hope you I hope you had a wonderful day and you prepared your food, you ate. The weather was a bit offish on my side. It was, it was cloudy, so yeah, the mood was not as great as a sunny day, but we appreciate the weather nonetheless. So yeah, um, on my right, we have, which, okay, here's my right. <laughs> On my right, we have Butilo, but she's busy drawing. And on my left, we have Palisa. What are you busy with, Wena? Oh, jerseys. Yeah, she's busy with her jersey. So I want us to welcome our viewers with a song, Palisa. Our song. Whatever the day, whatever the weather, friends do everything together. Hello, one person. <laughs> Oh, no way. Get a, you don't sit still. Whatever the day, whatever the weather, friends do everything together. Whatever the day, whatever the weather, friends do everything today together. So today is Friday and we are on session number whoop, five plus five is... Ten. ten yes we are on session number ten Zil. good evening Mwahi and siamisang are watching hi hi Mwahi and siamisang hello hello person two okay. so we've got a second person watching us hi hi thank you for tuning in today is our last read for the week but we will be back on Monday. Monday. Yes. <laughs> so, without wasting any further time, today we are going to read, like we've always promised, two books. One in English. The what? other one is in Sipedi. You remember yeah. yesterday I said that I'm not so confident in my petty reading. So I'm going to practice and I'm going to practice and I'm going to practice. I'm going to practice. Till I perfect it so that when I come and deliver it to you, it's up to standards. Little level such a thing. <laughs> so I spend the whole day today reading this petty book and just trying and trying and really trying to get it to 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 a point where I'm really happy to give it to you guys. So yeah, today we will be reading book number one is the Grim, uh, Miss Grimble's Grape Vine by Jill Eggleton, illustrated by Michael Mechonko. Hello, person number two. So, there, this is the book we're reading today. You see it? So, this is the English book we're reading. And the better book that we are reading is this one Pukube. Uduma Mutwa. Everything is, we say Mutwa, but it's actually Mutla. Mutla in Sibet. We're going to learn a lot here. Mutla. Renata is Mutla, but it's, it's Mutla. All right. Is it? Rabbit. Yes, when I girl. <laughs> so I'm going to start now. With I'm going to. Should I start with grapes? I don't think I should start with grapes. You know why? Because of the last. The last okay, so in this book there's there's two two in, in this one book there's two stories and I like the ending of the second story so I'm not gonna start with this one because I like the ending and the, I'm gonna start with with our baby reading it's falling apart look at that oops oopsie so I'm gonna start with our baby uh, reading okay let's start with Celine. Pukube Iduma Mula. The book is written by Morabani Nchabeling. Hi Hazel. Hi Hazel. 
Okay, let me try to put it that way so that we can all see Palisa. All right. <laughs> so here we go. Book number one for tonight. Go on, Nestelle, please. Please. Thank you. Book number one. Mutra. Okay. Mutra Oharicha. Oh, what am I saying now? Mutra. Okay. Mutla ukhari u jadi sapi. Mmm. Di sapi che di busi biang. Kuchole la pikuwe. Tama mutla. Na u jani mo. Ki jadi sapi. Kwaraba mutla. Nge mpe etise. Ki rata di sapi kudu. Kuri yalo pikuwe. Nang. Nga se ufili eti. Liwe na sipila. Uyo king, sipila uyo kunya kachaka ako, kufetula mudra. E, ilo kuru udikwedi chekai, mpo chekie kie kona biyale, pikube ubulela aposhisha maari. Kiri wedi chekwa, zile nya kuchwa la nukeng, kuri yalo mudra. Urekaye, haki ukwe buche, Pukube wea bujisha. Na usifa uwe na pukube. Tibu ladi jemeche uchaka uje utieleje. Kitieledi ije mudra. Bule la khape. Kubule la pukube. Kiri kwa hati lenya kuchwa nukengi man. Mudra wa. Mudra wa arab. Eya. Nani tabidi no dula mozi len. Pukube ubujisha. Ubujisha amakala. Aua, kaya ufitla, opata memo zilei. Udire mo, mo, king, udire mo nkaru u tswere kebu roko, kufetu la mudla. Na mile, kutla tira lang. Pukube ubujisha khape, utla wana kama atho aha ho, kwa raba mudla. Akiru nyaka ditlapi. Pukube na mile, aleba kuwa zilei. Hehehe, retro bona bu silihono. Mudla osala asebela, osala aseba seba alinoshi. Kolo yari tongi ebe ijoelela. Malo, piyoko beye iringi rubeji mom kharikatila. Muna o akhoza. Ay, piyoko betena, piyoko betena, kloka mozileng. Muna o. Uwa khaleja khe ariyalo anta sebebu asita piyukuba. Kluha mojileng, kluha mojileng, kluha mojileng. Piyukuba ina sur, au, geng, oi, 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 oi. Piyukuba ya chaba ila. Mutwa yena, kia fedile kadi tayeho. Akwa kwa leji, mutwa akwa kwa leji. And that's how the story ends. So I'm gonna show you pictures. I'm gonna three. Yes, there's three people watching us. So here, Ashumut, the the the, um, the rabbit is eating the fish, enjoying himself. And then comes the fox, the fox, and the fox as the rabbit where did you get your fish i'm so hungry and i love your fish so much and ask for fish and then the rabbit is like no i'm not gonna give you go it look for one. not even one go look for it yourself i'm not gonna give you anything and then but now the fox is like salivating for the fish like oh my god but don't just tell me where can i get it and then the rabbit says, okay, I got it there by the road where there's a, um, um, Person. a river. N Nuka, I think Nuka, it's a river or a dam. Yeah. So now the fox doesn't hear properly. He's like, exactly where did you say you got it? I can't hear you. But now the rabbit is just irritated and is like, why don't you open your, eye, your ears and so that you can hear what I'm saying? Hi, Bo. I said, there by the river, there, there, there's a, there's a road there by the river. Now, the fox is like, but 
how am I like oh, this fish is it just there laying there and then now the rib is like no what you're gonna do when you get there you're gonna lie down pretend that you're sleeping but now the fox is like but what happens like how am I gonna get this fish and the rabbit is like, but you and the fish, so you will see. You will see. You will see for yourself. You will see for yourself. Now, there goes the fox uh, to get the fish. And then the fox does what the rabbit said um, he should do. Lay there. But now here comes this man, surprised to find a fox just laying by the road. And the man takes out a shambok, you know, shambok, shambok, and hits the the poor fox. Like, get out of the road, get out of the road. And there's the rabbit just laughing at the fact that the man is hitting the fox. So the the, the game that the rabbit played is really not nice. I, I know it's a funny story, but it's really not nice. I mean, what do we always say? Sharing is... Caring. Yeah, sharing is caring. It's so the only thing the the, the, the rabbit was supposed to do was to share the fish with the fox. But instead, the rabbit just decided to play a prank on the fox. And the prank was not so nice because the fox ended up getting into trouble with the man. What's a manga di karika? We say di karika. Di karika. Di karika. I don't know what you call this. In English, I know there's an English word. I think I forgot it. <laughs> yeah, but that, yeah. So that man was just not pleased to find uh, a fox just laying by the road where he, where he has to go past. So it's like, so yeah. The the story here it's a prank that was pulled. It was not not so much of a nice prank. The rabbit should have shared the fish. The rabbit should have not misled the fox. The fox ended up getting hurt. But it's a prank, and the rabbit is just having a fa uh, a full trip on what he pulled on the fox. So I guess animals kwa koso kwenga batalo kanya na bona. So maybe at some point the fox did pull a prank on the rabbit, so it was revenge, inchi. <laughs> All right. So rate my sepedi. How was my sepedi? Was it good? Muahi, Hazel, and Sia Misang. Was it good? Was my very good? <laughs> All right, so moving on to book number two, Miss Gramble's Grapevine. Also, another thing that I would like to add is that I will be posting these videos on YouTube. Obviously, on YouTube, it won't be live. It will just be a posted video. So don't mind me when I say, please do like and subscribe. <laughs> Because most YouTubers say that, please like and subscribe and share. What else do they say? Like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> so yeah, I'm requesting that you also share this video here on Facebook. All right, to reach as many kids as we can and share our stories and I can read to them and we can have a fun time. All right, so now we are reading the second book. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> Miss Grimbles had a grape vine in her garden. She loved to eat grapes. But the birds in Miss Grimbles' garden loved to eat grapes too. When Miss Grimbles went inside her house, the birds flew down to the grapevine and ate and ate and ate. Eight. Miss Grimbles came out from her house and shook the grape vine. Shoo, 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 shoo. Go away, she said to the birds. She said to the birds, you cannot eat my grapes. But when Miss Grimbles went into her house, the birds came back. Miss Grimble got a hoose and hoosed the bird. Shoo, shoo, shoo. She said to the birds, you cannot eat my grapes, man. But when Miss Grumble went inside her house, the birds came back. Miss Grumble thought. And she went and got a straw. She got a hat. She got a shirt and sticks. And guess what Miss Grin uh, Grin uh, uh, Grumble's did? I will make a scarecrow, she said, a scarecrow. 
Miss Grumbles put a scare screw by the grape vine. Here's a scare screw. See? Don't let the birds eat my grapes, she said to the scare screw. But when Miss Grumbles went inside her house, the birds came back. They sat on the scare screw arms and ate. They sat on the scare screw's arms and ate the grapes. So Miss Grumbles got a net. She put the net over, under, and around the grapevine. Now you cannot eat my grapes," said Miss uh, said Miss Grumbles to the birds. But, but. When, the, when Miss Grumbles went inside her house, the birds came back. They could see the grapes and probably smell it too, but they could not eat the grapes. They could not get under or into the net. Good, said Miss Grumbles. Now the birds cannot eat my grapes and I will eat the grapes by myself. Hey, these people don't share, ne? <laughs> they don't like sharing. Miss Grumbles went into her garden to eat the grapes. But she herself could not get under the net. Hmm. Miss Grumbles sat on the grass and looked at the grapes. The birds sat in the trees and looked at the grapes. I love grapes, said Miss Grumbles. But the birds love grapes too. Then Miss Grumbles jumped up and she took off the net of the grape vine. Come on, birds, she said. Grapes are for eating. Let's eat, everybody. So at the end, Miss Grape, Miss Grumbles allowed the graveyard to the grape vine to be open so that everybody can have the grapes because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. <laughs> So I'm going to show you pictures before I go to the last. <laughs> I'm, going... <laughs> I'm going to show you pictures before I go to the last story. I'm her mother, yes. So this is Miss Grumbles. You see? With the birds eating the grapes. And then here, when she leaves, the birds just goes and eat the grapes. And she comes and chase them away. Shoo, shoo, go away. And when she goes into her house, the birds come back to the graves. And she got the hoose and hoose them away. And then the graves came back. I mean, the birds came back to the graves. <laughs> and here she picks up all the clothes to make the scare screw. And there's the scare screw scare himself with all the birds sitting on his arms eating grapes. Then Miss Grumbles decide to cover the grape um the 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 grapevine with a net. You see there? Yeah. And then the grapevine is covered with nets. The birds can go in. She is pleased with herself that she will be enjoying the grapes by herself, not sharing. Ha! And then she decides to go outside to get grapes, but she couldn't. The net had covered. I guess she covered everything, you know. So she can't get the grapes. And then now she's sitting there looking at the grape vine. And the birds are also just looking at the grape vine. Eventually, she decides to remove the net. So that everybody can have some grapes because sharing is caring. This is my mother. So now today we are reading our last book, Joshua's Birds. I was surprised because I thought this book had only one story. But then at the end of Miss Grumble's story, I came across this story, Joshua's Bird. It's like, hmm, interesting. So let's get to hear what the story is all about. Joshua saw a little bird hopping along the road. Look out, little bird, he said. Look out for the car. The car went past. Joshua looked for the little bird. It was laying on the road. Oh, surely. Not yet. 
Joshua picked up the little. Let me read now. Joshua picked up the little bird and looked it uh, and took it inside. He gave it some water. He put a breadcrumb in the little bird's mouth. Joshua took the little bird outside into the sun. In, into the sun, he sang to the bird. Little bird, little bird, look up at the sky. Little bird, little bird, you can fly, fly, fly. Little bird, little bird, look up at the sky. Little bird, little bird, you can fly, fly, fly. The bird opened its eyes. It moved its wings up and down, up and down. And down and then it flew up 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 into the sky Joshua looked up at the little bird he sent to it little bird little bird up in into the sky little bird little bird goodbye 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 little bird little bird up in the sky little bird little bird goodbye 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 and this is Polly has a death of a six and that's why I loved the last story because it says goodbye so I'm going to show you I'm going to show you um the pictures so here Joshua is seeing um, the bird and the car and trying to rescue the bird. And then there goes the car past the bird and the bird is just laying there, shame. And trying to rescue the bird, giving the bird water and bread scrums. And here also trying to rescue, bring back the bird to life. And then here... Joshua sings to the bird, little bird, little bird, up, look up into the sky. Little bird, little bird, fly, fly, fly. So I created the song myself. <laughs> little bird, little bird, look up at the sky. Little bird, little bird, you can fly, fly, fly. So there, you see? Little bird, little bird, look up to the sky. Little bird, little bird, you can fly, fly, fly. The little bird opened their eyes and there goes the bird flying. So the melody, the melody, the love, the care brought bed, the bird to life. And there goes the birds and Joshua singing, little bird, little bird, up. In the sky, little bird, little bird, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. From my heart, my kids, Falisa over here and Butsila over there, we wish you a beautiful weekend. We will be back on Monday, even though it's a holiday. We have promised you Monday to Friday two books. Per day, so we will be back on Monday with two books. Uh, and yeah, have fun, have fun. I don't even know what to say, but just have fun. And as I post this on YouTube, all the YouTubers, please do like, subscribe, and share this video so we can reach as many kids as possible. From my heart, Miss Paxton Reed, to yours. Thank you for tuning in. Bye bye.